Hey guys, it's RTJ Ryan here again, and we're back with Amnesia Dark Descent Part 16. I think. <gasps> and already I'm hearing sounds that, are, that aren't so good. No idea where that sound came from, as always. I'm not sure. Just, this is thing that's confusing me. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh dearie me. Got myself into a right kerfuffle. A right kerfuffle. Huh? And is that? Oh no, I thought that was Mr. Tons of Fun. This guy, he is different. And... Where the hell? Where'd he go? Hmm. Guess he had to leave in a hurry. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'm done exploring this area or not. I mean, it's so huge and fast. Well, huge, vast, same thing. Oh my god, will you piss off? How the hell did you get down there? What the fuck are you doing these things? By the way, you got a great ass. Keep working on that. <gasps> yeah, you go that way. It's, it's best for both of us. I mean, I live, you live. It's a win win situation, man. And yet. I've been in this room already, haven't I? Yeah, the screaming bull. You know what, I think I'm pretty much done in this area. I mean, I don't see what else there is to do. Yeah, I've got three pieces of the orb. I'm going to assume that there's another three pieces to go along with it in the other... at the other side. Or through the other door I should go through. I don't believe I won't encounter that monster again. This could take a while. Hmm? He's not here to see me off? Oh well. That's his loss. Such fools, he thought. Good men can safely cure their departure as there is nothing but a, as they are nothing but a burden on mankind. Or to mankind. Then back to the nave. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating, uh, suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. This place, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. Hmm. Yeah, me again. How you doing? You found yeah, I'm amazing, aren't I? You're not serious. Please tell me you don't have to jump down there. Oh, I see what I have to do. I know what I have to do now. I have to get this. Put it here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we have to get another piece of rope. Oh, the transept. Oh, joy. Carefully cutting the man open made him think, this is how Father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. And 
twisted form of pride. Yet again, uh, another pentagon, more satanic rituals going on here. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Orphan! Kill me! This one, prepare me. And yet again, I forgot to time this, so I'm just trying to find my timer app. Um, bear with me. Alright, okay, here it is. And I assume we're about four minutes in, early enough. Okay, continuing on. I don't even know why I go to the bother of using a timer. Because I'm not good at the whole timekeeping scenario. Oh, suddenly everything just got blurry. This can't be good. Kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cried loudly. Ooh, the suspended woman cried hysterically as the man contemplated her next step. Daniel, you horrible, horrible bastard. I don't think I'll get the game finished in this part, in fact I know I won't get it finished in this part, but hopefully in part 16 I will. So I'm assuming this is how we did it, just went around and around and around, whoops, um, maybe not like that, but you get the idea. And this is obviously the torture device, mm hmm. Yep, we study those in history. The shadow. It's close now. What is this shadow? I keep thinking that the monsters are the shadow, but surely it can't be. Or they can't be. More dialogue. Shh. Never. The cradle is ready. God. You! You're a man! How can you partake in this? Is he alright? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man! It was an accident! He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault! Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. And am I out of oil? No, I'm not. any other day so what's the point the arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler it didn't take much to break him they had meant for him to die but the torture was working beyond her expectations it wasn't the method it was the arsonist he was different from the others they could make him forget again hmm yeah that would be painful having a spike up your bum and I'm assuming there's an oh yeah Another orb. Oh, they're getting sneaky with them now. Whoops. Uh, I don't really need to use the lantern anymore. How's my sanity? Head is pounding and hands are shaking. If you've got some bruises, take one of these. That'll set you right. Okay. We're back on the road to progress. 
Oh, hello, I didn't notice you. You okay, buddy? You alright? Okay, you just hang chill there, and I'll go and find more orb fragments. insane routine. Yep. There we go. Oh, yeah. That would be rather painful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't think the game would be this graphic. Oh. God, that is something else. The rapist hanged upside down. Shouldn't that be hung? The rapist hung upside down. His tears soiled with blood flowing from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The man sat back and waited for the victim to train. Oh, come on, man. That is, that is just horrible. That is rotten. Ugh. Then. Okay. I think that was the last piece. In fact, I think these are actually real tortures going back to medieval times. Real torture methods and devices. Oh boy. Okay, because we're going up here now. this out anymore wasting my oil. Ah, okay. Oh, quit, quit getting stuck in the stairs. How retarded are you? Oh look it's Jesus. Hey Jesus, how you doing? Baby Jesus, how are you? Ah, more natural oil. More tinder boxes, yeah, as if I need more of those. Look, I've, I've got friggin' 50 of them. 50. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what that's gonna be used for now. I'm gonna put that down to well. I'm gonna use my jar on it. There are quite a few things to said about the torture. I had figured the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence, where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are therefore to strain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as will trigger itself into greater fear. <gasps> Simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Oh, so this game is called Amnesia for a reason and the amnesia drink is what Daniel must have drank prior to these events, or after these events, I should say. Is it you, my love, I missed most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I've become, I am not blind. I'm a monster, to them a demonic sultan, preach on 
Dammit. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountain top. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The black eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's feet, it is only a matter of time before he will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time, it must work. If I can't return home, if I can't return home now, I shall perish. Unfortunately, you didn't, Alexander. That's the most horrendous part, because you are just one diabolical bastard. E oh, and there go the legs. Ooh, a wound is bleeding quite badly. Yeah, that's... Yeah, probably a bone jutting out. Compound fracture. Mm hmm if you got some bruises. And you're right as rain. <clears throat> what better way to heal a compound compound fracture than to use ladaunum? There's this ladaunum stuff must be great. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. Is this dialogue coming from Alexander or not Alexander? What you call it? What you call him? And uh, uh, Daniel. Yeah, that's his name. Okay, here's our spring. We're going to be used that here. But no, no, we're not. Are you sure? Maybe, maybe, maybe this way. Whoa, no, no. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, maybe don't use on the roof. Oh, I know. That's what the meat is for. We turn meat down here. We don't. Combination does not work. The room needs to be pulled up before anything can be attached to it. <sighs> yeah, geez, I'm just making this more awkward. Okay. There we go. That should do it. Okay, just going to do the old twiddly twiddle, if you don't mind. What do we do now? Yeah, picked up the remains. Okay, the bone is covered in mucus. And what do I use this on? The jar? No? <sighs> it's probably got something to do with the whole recipe, yo, but I'm not going to bother with it because we all know I'm a genius and I don't need to do this shit. No? No? I don't use a jar that way? Okay. Let's go talk to our friend Agrippa again. I see that all the obvious you Ah, oh, sweet. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. But if you could find it in your heart to gather the ingredients for Wyatt's tongue before attempting to mend the all, there might still be a chance for you to save me. Please, my faith is in your hands. Okay, don't need any notes on torture. Uh, no. So how do I bring up the... <laughs> yes, I, I have them all. I know I have no right to ask anything. Of course you don't. But if you could find it in your heart. Okay, shut up until I find how to find out how to bring up the notes menu. And I'm just randomly pressing every key on my keyboard. Until I 
forget which one does which. It's not a no. Jeez, that was freaking easy. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, notes. Machine plague, shatter for gripper, channels wire, no it's torture. Wired home me. No, that's not it. No, it's in here. Shattered all vaccine trials. No. Diaries. No. Dennis ceremony. Ten star discovery. Oh, I missed one of those. Mementos. Agrippa, dying man, my specific tonic made to save him. One note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. A, myst a mystic barrier blocks a passage into the channel. The best on the channel has a depression in it. An orbit needs to enter the inner sanctum. It's shattered to pieces. And then I the torture dies. What's this shit about a tonic? Machine, plague, outbreak, vaccine, trials, shattered or progressive channels, wire. I don't have anything else on. Wait, one note speaks of a mixture made with three ingredients. Notes. So, notes on torture, no. Grip at channels what I, I don't have any notes on on this crap. I mean, I'm assuming. Okay, shut up, Agrippa. I'm assuming that saving Agrippa is optional. Just go back into this room. Was a note here, but is it, is it gone? Truly gone. I picked it up, but I know what I picked. I know what I picked it up. Unless I'm just. I see that all the odd pieces you leave. Unless I'm not doing something right at the menu that I'm just completely bypassing it. Notes. Shared orb. Grab a chance for more things. Optimism. Wired haunts me to release the Griffin Alchemy. Wired told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tempter. A paralyzer, vitae, and tempter. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I've had no idea how to get those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the orb in the Tingwajig. It's that straightforward. Oh jeez, I'm exceeding 20 minutes at this... At this uh, damn it. Can't talk. And, oh, get off my... Get off my face, that is disgusting and... <gasps> Holy shit! Many of them, Warder. Okay, it looks like Mr. Thomas have found their freaking brothers and sisters. Jeez. Oh, right, this is actually part of the story, is it? There he goes. And this is a writing in my inventory, amazingly. So I don't have to go and search for them again. And I'm assuming this is where I get the <laughs> feet day and tempter. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to do with you. 
Send me to a Sumter Park. We are so very much the same, you and I. Did you really drink from the amnesia mixture? It does explain so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you set out to do. You talked about redemption. How you would face... How you would face... ...your shadow and save our work and me. I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait here and stop the shadow. Thank you, friend. Boom. Fucking superpowers. Anyway, I'm just gonna conclude part 15 here. Ah, uh, wait, sorry. What? Part 15, uh, this is part 16. So, sorry, I'll conclude part 16 here and I will see you guys again. Whenever I see you again. That's what I'll see you. Okay, anyway, until next time, see ya.